students, teachers, everyone. Thank you for having us. It is a pleasure to be back in Glasgow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dad. Well, of course, when we bring a major event to a major city, you know, our job is to integrate that with the community. Uh, great to see our players giving up their time during what is a busy week of a major international event. Um, and it's just great to come back to these places every year. Every year we come back, there's a few more schools and a few more billiard tables and a few more students playing snooker. Uh, and it's really great to see. You know, the children are so passionate about snooker because, of course, they, they watch their great stars on television and it's inspirational. Days like this provide the inspiration for young children to take up the sport and by leaving the snooker tables in the schools as we do, as we travel around, we're actually providing facilities for them to train as well. You know, sport is such an uh, important part of everyday life. It's not just about great sportsmen earning big prize money and winning major trophies. It's about the community benefit, it's about the social benefit and the inclusion that you can bring into communities. And, and every community that we come back to, I have to say, um, we're really enjoying ourselves. Our players have been great. Yeah, it's been great fun. It's always good to come out um, to schools. All the kids looked really enthusiastic. Um, so yeah, it's always good to come out and have a bit of fun, why not? You've always got to spread the word. We've always got to, you know, promote this game and, and get it as far out as we can because the more people playing snooker, the better it is for everyone else. And, you know, China is, has a massive following and hopefully that will just carry on around the world wherever we go, really. With the facilities and what they're doing in the country, with snooker being on the school curriculum etc that they're advanced you know and I think um, it's going to be difficult if you sort of fast forward a decade I think it'd be difficult for the for the UK and the rest to keep up with these uh, young Chinese players but it's good look it's a nice mix now and um, yeah it's fantastic for the tour um, Barry and I chatted for nine years or so ago about what we could do with the sport. We, we, we believed that, that, that it could be huge and I think some people thought, oh come on, you know, this is not going to happen. But, but actually it, it has such great values, the sport, and um, it, it's one of those sports very addictive. People play it. You know, I remember walking into a billiard hall at 10, 11 years old and I was mesmerised. I just couldn't leave it alone. I just couldn't get the ball in the hole and I had to master it. And I see many children like this these days. So the sport is, is growing, more people are, are, are playing. We, we know we have a huge television audience, um, around 120 countries now taking our television pictures from major events. The sport is huge, 26 events around the world. And there's more new territory to come. I would, as a snooker player, have loved to be playing in this environment passion from the crowds, the numbers of events, um, no downtime, no, no time to worry about it, think about it too much. If you lose a match, you know, pick yourself up, back on tour again. Um, the tour's a dream.